Hey, what's up everyone? And um, wow, yeah, it's been quite a while, right, since the Quest 2 uh, came out. It's funny how time flies, but what I noticed is that most of the setup videos out there are completely outdated by now. And that's a real shame, because there are still so many people who are buying into a Quest 2. Currently it's even selling better than Quest 3, so that's why I decided to create a fresh guide that explains you exactly how to set it up in the present days, including some handy tips and tricks that are going to help you out. So. Yes, to get started you want to make sure that your headset and controllers are of course fully charged. When they're ready to go, take a seat and strap them right on. First it will ask you to choose your language and it's worth mentioning that you can always change this later down the road. It then wants you to uh, check the clarity, which is very important, so adjust the headset on your face until you start to see things uh, clearly. If to you the screen looks sharp, kind of sharp or, or stays blurry, then move on to the next step, which is adjusting the lenses. It's good to know that these have uh, three different settings that mimic the distance between your eyes. Setting 1 stands for 58mm, setting 2 is 63mm and setting 3 reflects 68mm. To find out what setting works best for you, I would recommend downloading the so-called iMeasure app, which uh, calculates your exact value in millimeters, so you can adjust the lenses to the number closest to you. How handy and way less confusing than having to guess where your eyes sit. Connect to the Wi-Fi, ideally to the same network as your phone, and watch the same safety video that plays in front of you. The highlights here being clearing your play area from obstacles, very uh, smart, um, using it only indoors as direct sunlight can damage your lenses and to prevent motion sickness, playing content that is on your level by looking at the store's comfort ratings. After the videos have finished, uh, the headset should start updating itself and will ask you to in the meanwhile pair it to your mobile phone. So take off the headset again and start downloading the MetaQuest app on your desired device. Once you're signed in, uh, you should automatically be seeing a pop-up that lets you pair your Quest 2 to your phone. Alongside that, you get the opportunity to create or customize your own avatar that you will be using inside VR. When you're settled on your virtual appearance, hit continue and give the app a moment to find your headset. This should only take around 10 seconds or so before the on-screen quest animation will spin around telling you it's ready to rumble. Let's say you do not get this uh, pop-up at all, then you can pair the headset yourself by going to the menu, devices, connect new one, choose your headset and let it search for your quest. This usually does the trick, but when it gets stuck on the loading screen, your last resort will be manually connecting it to the 5 digit code that can be found inside the headset. If even then you're still encountering issues, I would check out the helpful links that I added to the video's description that will surely sort out all your problems. Anyways, once the headset has successfully updated itself, it will play a little sound, letting you know you can put it back on. You can then start setting up your own play space, also known as creating boundaries. First you have to set your floor level. The headset will actually do this automatically, but can be tweaked if you want to. Next up is the most fun part, and that is uh, drawing boundaries around you. Just make sure you give your furniture enough breathing space so you don't knock anything over while you're in VR. Because trust me, when you're immersed, everything can happen, so you have been warned. Um, you're then being thrown into the menu where you can start exploring everything Quest 2. If you want, you can go uh, through a series of brief tutorials that introduce you to the headset's features. The first shows you how to browse uh, through apps, the second demonstrates how to add friends and start chatting with them, and last getting tips on casting, air link, hand tracking and voice commands. Oh, and before I forget, on your left you will find a mirror that lets you admire the avatar you just made on your phone. How cool! And that's about it. From here you can start playing your favorite games, experiences and even watch movies wherever you want. Welcome 
to uh, the future. So if you're interested in getting the most out of your uh, own Quest 2, then make sure to also watch my tips, tricks and hidden features video that will tell you everything you want to know about your headset. So there will be a link in the description below and it will also show up right next to me. So go uh, give it a try, let me know what you think. Until next time and uh, bye bye for now. See you in glorious virtual reality.